We will start the press conference by Foreign Minister Motegi. Minister, please. Start with your questions, if any. Please raise your hand. And if I ask you, please come forward to the microphone, tell us your organization and name. Mr. Sushiro, why don't you try a different question from Indonesia? No, let's start with a different question. Mr. Yamamoto. Yamamoto, NHK. Question about Hong Kong. Uh, the Hong Kong National Security Act, uh, it is reported that it has passed the NPC Standing Committee. What is your observation? At this moment, no official announcement has been made, but as is reported right now, if at the Standing Committee of the NPC, uh, the Hong Kong National Security Bill has been passed, if it has been passed, it was done so under the deep concern of the international community and the Hong Kong people, and therefore it is regrettable. I would say regrettable using the English language. If the National Security Bill indeed has been enacted, uh, this would undermine the trust over the principle of the one country, two systems, and therefore by collaborating with other countries, appropriate countermeasures will be taken. Please go ahead. I don't know if you know this, uh, but uh, according to the Indonesian uh, president, it is said that in order to reduce cost uh, for the uh, Indonesian high-speed business project, uh, Indonesian government uh, said uh, that uh, the project between Japan and China should be integrated. This is the request of the Indonesian government. What is the view of the Japanese government from the Indonesian government? Has a formal request being received? And regarding the Jakarta Surabaya project, how much progress has been made so far? Now, for the recent railway business, uh, project uh, of Indonesia, uh, we have uh, uh, been receiving uh, many uh, kinds of reports. And uh, the uh, Java North Line uh, upgrading project uh, uh, is, uh, uh, is where we are conducting a feasibility study for cooperation. Uh, therefore, we shall continue to engage in discussions uh, with the Indonesian side going forward. Currently, uh, discussions are underway. Uh, therefore, uh, details uh, cannot be uh, disclosed because of the um, consideration given to the Indonesian government side. Next question, Ms. E. YTN South Korea, E. Gyeong Ah. Two questions. One question at a time, please. Understood. This is about the WTO Director General Election. Last week at the press conference, you mentioned that Japan is thinking about what to do. With regarding Yu Myung, the candidate of South Korea, do you intend to say that she is not qualified as a candidate? About what to do, just as I mentioned the other day, we are still thinking regarding particular candidates, no position has been determined. My next question is about the G7. Uh, what question? G G7. Okay, G7. Uh, the government of uh, Japan uh, considers it is extremely important to maintain the current uh, framework of G7. In what is the viewpoint of the government of Japan about expanding or increasing other countries, including South Korea? Why do you disagree? The significance of G7 is that leaders of member states that share fundamental values engage in free and candid talks on the challenges of the international community. 
This is the shared recognition regarding G7. Across the world, there has been economic crisis, and the major economies have discussed about such challenges. That was the initiation start of the forum, and now expanded not only to look at economics, but to deal and discuss about a variety of global challenges. That is the forum of G7. Not only Japan, but that G7 maintains uh, this framework, it is very important. That is our position. On top of that, in the past G7 meetings, there has been the format of outreaches where non-member states or international organizations have been invited on several occasions. What format will take place for this year's G7, but ultimately the United States, which holds the presidency, will decide. Next question. TVRC, my name is uh, Oishi. Uh, I have a follow-up question for the first uh, uh, comment. Uh, there are many Japanese companies uh, uh, in Hong Kong. There are many Japanese nationals uh, living in Hong Kong as well. Uh, what would be the impact uh, of to these uh, companies as well as uh, uh, nationals uh, with the enactment of this law? Now, uh, in Hong Kong, uh, there are uh, 26,000 uh, uh, Japanese nationals uh, living and uh, 1,400 uh, Japanese companies uh, uh, engaged in activities. Uh, therefore, uh, one country, two state, uh, uh, two system uh, uh, future uh, is extremely important uh, of, of, as uh, uh, taking into consideration the close economic relations with Hong Kong as well as people-to-people uh, -people exchange. The close economic relations as uh, well as uh, uh, people exchange uh, are areas where uh, Japan had close relationship uh, with uh, Hong Kong. Uh, therefore, we hope that uh, open uh, system will uh, continue and uh, democratic uh, system continue to expand. Uh, this uh, is a consistent view of our uh, of Japan. We will be working with the uh, related uh, uh, countries uh, to uh, uh, promote this objective. Mr. Azhar. Thank you. Khaldun Azari, Panorit News. Uh, what is Japan's official position on the reported uh, plans by Israel to annex the West Bank? And in general, uh, what do you think Japan would do if China or Russia annexed the uh, disputed territory? Thank you. Regarding the Middle East peace process, regarding the dispute between Israel-Palestine, Japan has uh, supported the two-state uh, solution. We think the status of the West Bank and other issues, including the border, should be resolved by the negotiation between the parties to the dispute. No change in our position. Yomiri Shinfo, my name is Oyama. Regarding the Hong Kong situation, uh, the U.S., uh, is uh, saying uh, that in terms of military as well as uh, defense uh, um, uh, products uh, uh, will be uh, banned for export. Uh, are there any similar measures uh, considered uh, by Japan? As I have already mentioned, currently uh, formal um, report uh, is yet uh, uh, shared uh, on this matter. And uh, if uh, it is the case, uh, various measures uh, um, are being uh, reported on in the media based on hypothesis. Uh, we'll be working with the uh, related uh, countries, uh, uh, working in collaboration uh, to take a realistic approach going forward. Uh, yes, please. Ms. Young. JTABC, Junyong Ilbo. About the export control change, one year has passed, and there is also the issue of uh, the former South Korean workers on the peninsula during the wartime. If the two matters can be 
what are the possibilities of resolving the matters according to your viewpoint? In the last press conference, you yourself discussed that before the realization of the asset of Japanese companies that you wish to engage in talks with South Korea. What is your concrete view? First of all, what is going on right now is the process of the seizure of the assets, and that is not equally realization. If it is going to be realized into money, it is going to be a very grave and serious situation. To South Korea, on past occasions, we have been explaining uh, to them. And the other day, at the Japan-South Korea Foreign Minister's telephone talks with Ms. Kang Gyeongfa, I have clearly stated this to her. On the other hand, at the WTO, about the dispute settlement procedures, according to the WTO procedures, we will continue to take appropriate responses. So the workers from the Korean Peninsula during the war and about the export control, those are separate matters. The workers from the peninsula, this matter, uh, the Supreme Court of South Korea has issued a sentence, and uh, that is the situation where South Korea is breaching international rules. So uh, we look forward to the rectification of this situation. Makato uh, of Nikkei. Uh, I have a, a question regarding travel entry uh, relaxation. Vietnam uh, has uh, received uh, um, uh, extraordinary uh, air, air route, and uh, for Thailand uh, there will be uh, relaxation expected. What is the current state of relaxation? As I have already mentioned uh, several times, Now, um, the inspection, in affection, uh, expansion uh, w taken into the current state, uh, uh, the gradual as well as uh, um, travel restriction lifting uh, will be uh, conducted. Uh, first of all, it will be for Vietnam, uh, Thailand, uh, Australia, and New Zealand. Uh, these four countries will be in the scope. And uh, currently, uh, we are engaged in consultations as well as uh, coordinations. Once the coordination uh, is uh, completed, uh, we will be uh, implementing uh, uh, gradually in a phased manner uh, on a trial basis. End of the press conference. Thank you very much.